Hey guys, I am Orlando and this is Sin City Cycling and today is another episode of Tech in My Kitchen. Today we are going to be fixing one of my friend's bikes. Uh, we were out on a ride uh, a week or so ago and he broke a cable when we were going through the wetlands, uh, actually stranding himself. So today's tech is going to be replacing of that cable. Uh, I hope you enjoy this episode. We appreciate it. Okay, so this is my friend's Tarmac Pro. And if you look here at the shifter, it broke right here. And it looks like the cap might have broke as well. I'm not sure how it actually cleaved the cable. Oh, that cable outer doesn't look too bad. Get it to focus here. Focus. Focus. Anyway, it doesn't look too bad, so I don't think I'm going to have to replace it. But I've seen the one on the rear, and the one on the rear is all cracked and nasty looking. So for sure I'm going to have to replace that one, and I think I might actually have some gray outer. I'm going to have to check, otherwise it's just going to be black. And he's got a strange mix here of some classic old Dura Ace with some Ultegra 6800. Looks like Ultegra brakes. And this is some old, internally routed rear brake cable. It's weird. It runs on the outside here, if you can see here. It runs on the outside. Goes into the frame for a second. I don't, I don't even understand why it would go in there for a second. And then, you know, pops out here as if that's like saving it some aerodynamic nature. But I do like the bike. And uh, he's getting ready to sell these recently or soon and uh i'm thinking that we'll make an offer on it maybe to just spruce up and resell possibly to keep uh, I, i'm not sure yet i do like the frame but it is kind of heavy uh, it could be those dt swiss rims though anyway let's get started first things first i'm going to go ahead and verify that the cable isn't still stuck in the shifter uh because the cable plug here i'll show you what i'm talking about the okay, shift cable has a small little plug at the end of it, and uh, that's what the shifter grabs onto when it's changing gears. Uh, so I want to make sure that this little plug isn't still in here. Uh, I can see through it. So that's telling me that it's not in there anymore. At least not that I can see. So that's a good thing. All right, now let's go ahead and remove the old cable. We'll check this outer, make sure that it is gonna work. Yeah, it looks all cracked and shit too, man. Yeah, it's cracked. So we're just gonna go ahead and replace it. Both of these actually look bad, man. This one's gonna break soon. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is remove this other cable here. And uh, then we're going to size them out so we can replace them. I'm going to take a quick picture here, so just in case. Go ahead and clip off the cable end. Toss that. Go ahead and wind the tuning uh, piece all the way down. You 
can see that nub just broke off of there clean. It looked like it had been fraying here for a while before. So, it's the coated wire too. All right, we're going to use this old piece here to uh, measure the new one. So, don't throw that away just yet. Oh, look at that. It's got a little adjustment here in the down tube as well. That's nice. So it's got two of them. So let's wind that one back in as well in case we need to use it. All right. We remove that. Okay. I am going to go ahead and cut the new outers. This is my stock outer. I apologize to my buddy, but all I have is black. There's no silver. Alright. Now I'm going to use the old cable to measure the new one. Okay, and once it's clipped, uh, my clippers actually have uh, a little punch that's supposed to clean the hole once you get it off. And uh, how you use that is you stick the cable end in there, and then kind of twist it, and that straightens out all of the wire that's in there so you get a, uh, a smooth run. Here, you can see on this one how it's all pushed in there, so we'll use the little cable thing to open it up and you're good to go not sure if it's focused or not okay so that's the top and now we need a bottom and this thing is just broken if you could see here that thing was ready to go this one with the old one and that's the nice thing about replacing cables is you have the old cable outers to use as a template to measure the new and that just makes shit a lot faster I would apologize for swearing but I don't really care And I have here the new uh, cable ends that I'm going to be applying here. So I'm going to go ahead. All right. I've already shifted into the low gear here so I can align the cable guide up with the shifter. And on these. It's a hole right here. I'd bring it up, but I don't think I could get a close-up that's good enough. But just know that there's a hole here.
pull the cable as taut as you can get it. And uh, another thing is, you're going to have to have a lot of extra here to make a really decent sized C or a swoosh. Uh, that way as you go through the gears, there's enough extra cable here to wind through the gears without cinching it or without tightening it up too much. Otherwise, you're going to have an issue with shifting. Uh, but it looks like the last one was measured pretty good, and that's what I went by, so it looks like it's going to be all right here. And uh, all we need to do is tighten her down, and the job is pretty much done, except for tuning. Make sure you have all the slack out before you cut it. Otherwise, you'll be cutting it again, and yeah, it's pretty taut. It doesn't have to be crazy, because this bike actually has two adjustment uh, screws on this line, so... Even if you had it really, really loose, with these adjustment screws, you could make it tight anyway. And if you don't know from my last video where I redid the cable, uh, these little caps keep the cable from fraying once you clip it, so that's what that's for. I'm going to service this bike here because everything is so dirty, and I want it to run good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the chain right now and then I'm gonna take everything apart and uh, service it that way. So I'll tune it last. And you can see how, how dirty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove this rear wheel because I'm gonna clean and service his cassette and chain. I have done this in another video. So I'm not going to cover too much of it here, uh, but I'll leave a link in the description below uh, if you need to see how I service the, the cassette. Uh, I'm just letting you know that I'm pulling it, so. And I'll also cover how to remove a cassette on the videos, so it's not necessary, I guess, but. I do things. Man, that's loose. Holy crap. This thing was ready to fall off on its own. here why well, I was having such a hard time removing them you could see these notches which I'm gonna have to file down uh, they are really really raised and they are really really defined now, this isn't necessary for this cable change but I like things running smoothly when I tune a bike, and this is part of things running smoothly is all of the parts involved being clean. I'm not sure why the spacer is on here. I'm assuming it's an 11 speed hub. Okay, after some serious hard work, I've got this cassette pretty much clean and uh, ready to go back on the bike here and we can start our tuning 
of the original job of the replacement of a cable. Note to everyone, if you do not clean your cassette at least once a month, it is not going to shift properly, it is not going to treat you properly, and you're not going to get good performance out of your bike. Okay, I'm going to put this together and then get set up uh, for tuning, so... Okay, we're getting closer to tuning here. Just want to clean this chain so we don't have any shift issues, so... Uh, I use WD to take off the old grease. It does a really good job of getting it off. And uh, you can see there. Okay, I just finished cleaning the cassette, lubing the chain, and generally cleaning up everything that is fucked up on this bike. And we are now ready to start tuning the derailleur after all of that. So let's go ahead and get busy doing that. Uh, first things first, you're going to want to be on the bottom gear here. Okay, you're going to want to make sure that you're shifted out of all of the gear. Okay, and then we are going to shift to the first click. It shifted right into the first one. Normally you would have to adjust. Alright, I don't know. I don't want to have to do much tuning at all. Why are we grinding? Because we are hitting it. Okay. I discovered some other issues with the derailleur here. Excuse me. The teeth of the derailleur were rubbing against the uh, cassette. And uh, I'm assuming that this Dura setup is not meant for a bigger cassette than this one. So I had to adjust the distance from the cassette from the derailleur. And the set screw that they use here is just not long enough to get the kind of distance that I need. But it's going to have to do, because that's all it's got. So... It does sound smooth anyway. Alright. Now, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to run through the gears again real quick to make sure I don't need to make any other adjustments. And then I'm going to go ahead and clip the cable. And then we should be good to go. So, let's see here. Now we're in top. That should be second. Okay. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We are good. This house is clean. All right, let's go ahead and clip that cable, put on the cable end, and we'll call it a day. extra here just in case I have to come back for some reason and redo something. You can cut it as close as you want so it doesn't get in your way. Alright. And that is a 
sick is that, folks? Now that everything's all fixed and done, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Uh, what we didn't really have to do this time uh, was really tune using uh, the tuning barrels. Uh, normally during an adjustment, uh, if, if it doesn't skip to that first gear, uh, you would tighten uh, the, the adjustment screw until you got your next jump. Uh, but as it turns out, I tightened it well enough as I was putting it together and we really didn't need to make that adjustment. Uh, so that's one thing we really didn't see, but that's what you would have to do if you were adjusting. Uh, so let's go ahead and reiterate, once everything is put together, once everything is tight and you're ready to start tuning, uh, bottom gear, little ring, first click. After the first click of the shifter, start paddling. If it doesn't jump to that next gear, you would undo the turning screw until we got that next jump. Then we would go ahead, click again. If there wasn't a jump, you would tighten again a little bit until you got that next jump and so on. Uh, that's the only difference to the work that we've already done. Uh, that would be the only process that we missed out on because of you know, me tightening the cable. Beforehand, we didn't really have to do that. So I just kind of wanted to touch base on that so you guys knew how to, how to kind of do that. Uh, as always, we appreciate you coming by. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, please consider hitting that like and that subscribe. We really appreciate you. As always, I am Orlando with Sin City Cycling. Peace. Are you done?